And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Hey, it's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95, The Quarantine Tapes. I'm Dan Soder, that's Big J Okerson. Quarantine Third Mike, Joe DeRosa, the whole crew here. We got the lose. B-Rod, Christine, Jacob is rebooting. I don't know, or his mom's making him a delicious lentil soup from scratch. <laughs> Quite possibly. Joining us on the show, the glorious return of the young bull, Shane Gillis, the, for the whole episode. Hey, hey. Live from his trophy room at the Gillis house. Hell yeah. Yes, live from all my dad's girls' basketball state championships, dude. dude no, those, are, those are hallowed halls and basketball games that are under 80 points combined. Oh my god, under 80, dude. I went to a game and the score was like fucking 12 to 4 at half. <laughs> dude, I love My dad, their, their last game, they lost and they held the team to three points in the second half and they lost. Dude, that's what, how? How is that possible? How is that even <laughs> possible? Fucking ladies, dude. It's ladies. <laughs> I remember walking into my. I guess what you're saying is take the under. Yeah, dude. If you ever bet over on a women's basketball game, you're mentally ill. How old are they? <laughs> how old are these ladies? Don't worry about it, Joe. You pervert. Jeez. <laughs> no, no. How, how old are they? Are they kids? They supp- are they- Joe, Joe wants to know if they're supple. <laughs> no, like, what, no, I'm saying is it like six-year-olds playing? I mean, then it's, you know, the low scores make sense. That's what I'm No, asking. it's high school. Oh, well, still, you know. No, these girls have full bushes, dude, and, and beginner tits. <laughs> <laughs> man, beginner tits rule. Beginner tits? <laughs> oh, man, I'll tell you what's funny. I, when I go back to being a teenager and seeing tits, I remember how tight they all looked. The skin on them was so tight on tits. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, those are they're busting through. They're coming yeah. through. They're coming through the walls like Friday the uh, like Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, <laughs> 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 trying to bust through with that nipple. And then your yeah, then your t- your torso has to adapt to the new bumps. You know, getting getting tits as a lady must be insane because you got to probably wait for your nipple to settle like a casserole. Yeah, dude, you know my, high school, my, my girl, high school girlfriend, like her nips were like so tight and pink. <laughs> they, 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 they just like they were shiny. <laughs> Their titties are almost shiny because they're so tight. Yeah. You know what's weird, too? That it doesn't hurt them. You think it would hurt to get tits like a werewolf transfer? <laughs> yeah, growing out of your body, dude. Get away from me! I'm getting these soft, supple milk juds. Whoa, Christine, chill. <laughs> <laughs> Don't share fucking tight tits. <laughs> I, don't know, I, mean, I almost uh, googled teen tits, and I changed it to eighteen-year-old boobs porn. Teen tits would have given you the same thing. <laughs> yeah, teen but it also would have put Christine on a list. Yeah, on so many lists from this show's research. It's so, somewhere in uh, in between Baltimore and Washington D.C., there's a guy in an office building that sees, thinks Christine is a real problem. He's like, what, <laughs> what, what is this <laughs> sick bitch into? Yeah. <laughs> He's in the office. He's like, we got another Evans. Get over here. <laughs> he goes, guys, that IP address is pinging again. I think this sick bitch is looking up teenage porn now. <laughs> What is what makes this girl's clock tick? Yeah, this bitch so- is sick, and this sick bitch has a name, and that name is Evans. <laughs> she's they just must- in the middle of a cork board with a bunch of webs going out. <laughs> All the stuff she's searched. <laughs> yeah, like, why? Why are teen tits not tender at all? Like I feel like they would hurt. Like you said, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't have like I didn't have like oh. huge tits come in. That's more of a question for somebody that did that. But I'm sure there's like growing pains and tenderness to it when they come in. B-Rod, 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 you're tiny. Did your tits come in painful? Did they break through like a high school homecoming team? Yeah. <laughs> Super painful. <Yeah>. Really? <laughs> I really? <beat> cougars. <laughs> <laughs> Go central. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, when my when my titties came in, I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> yeah, Joe, it was that's a gradual yeah. build. It was a gradual build. The slow roll always feels Correct. good. But it's funny. I just remember my my high school girlfriend. I just remember she had like C cup titties, and I just remember that like the, the thing about them. Like I, I rarely saw that again in my life ever. Just like those, like I said, they almost like have a sheen to them because they're just pushing through. It's like breaking right. skin almost. You know what it's like? You know what you know what it's like? Uh, like regular tits, like grown woman tits are like fruit, and teen tits are like wax fruit. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. They gotta, yeah. It's, it's like wax fruit. Yeah, there's no give to them at all. <laughs> None. Yeah. yeah, but all, but old, uh, but but lady titties are like comfortable jeans. You know, you just put them on and they yeah. just fucking form to you. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, punch, you punch up underneath them. Tear. Yeah. Yeah. Life's done. Life's done. Some, some of them are bleached in, you know, yeah. some of them have tears in their tits. Yeah. You watch bring the those, wave. Bring those bruised peaches over here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> DeRosa in a robe. Bring over those. Can you bring over your dirty pillows, Mother? There's nothing worse. Christine, now bring up 18 year old bad tits. I bet when they're bad, they're real bad. Like wonky? Is there is there a such thing as bad tits at 18? Sure. Could they just be? I'm curious to see this. You could have oh, some gross little flapjacks, or maybe some fucking <laughs> some big some big stretchy fucking pillows. Just some some yuckers. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm dude, to see these. I, I feel for an 18 year old girl with a case of rib tits. Just that it's dribbled off like like butter off a fucking potato. Also, also, uh, also, uh, an overweight chick with small, tight tits looks probably bizarre as shit. The I've gut's gonna be, the gut's gonna be messy, and then the tits are gonna lay on it. Yeah, I've been there, dude. It's not fun, man. It's gonna have that capital B profile. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've definitely. I've had a few where the gut's bigger than the tits. Oh yeah, no, I've been there in my life, dude. It's a roughie. It's a roughie. That's for rough. sure. If you're gonna if you're gonna go with a, a big girl, you're hoping at least you'd rather have those fucking those armpit uh, floppers. You know what I mean? Those ones that just yeah. fucking just go fucking east and west. Yeah. yeah. You'd rather carry laundry than just. Ooh. Oh. Man, what a bummer! What a goddamn bummer! That's Jesus Christ. Christ! What is that? Those guy? are great. What the, yeah, those are too fun. much, dude. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, what that's that? Christine. I think you just all got us on a list. What are you no, looking at? Christine, I mean, the one all the way to the right. Go What's back up? To the first girl. Yeah, these aren't bad tits. Well, uh, I'm trying to figure out the Google. I put bad tits on a young girl, and then I was like, younger, <laughs> younger. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds like a Nugent line. Bad tits <laughs> on a young girl. It's a damn anti song. <laughs> <laughs> Those titties bad. ain't high enough. Type in bad teen tits. That should bring it up. You know what, dude? I can tell you before she brings it up. Let me tell you my guess on what that's going to turn up because I'm a Google master at porn. It's yeah. going to bring up, it's gonna bring up a, a naked teenage girl holding like a switchblade. <laughs> like, she's a bad teen. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a naughty school. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. She's like she's behaving naughty. badly. Oh yeah, maybe like a police officer trying to talk to her and she's assassin them. Yeah, oh, yeah, she probably got caught stealing. <laughs> caught stealing. Jobs. And uh, the owner of the shop. I want you to bring up that first girl you had. The, hey, the first one, the first top left is exactly what I said it was. It's the girl caught stealing and the pawn shop owner's got to fuck her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah wow. <laughs> well, this actually, that. actually, this was a, this, this took, went down to the policeman. The shop owner was an R.I.T. Well, the, the policeman come, came into the shop. They yeah. called the police officer, please. please. Yeah, yeah. I know. Dude, this 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 poor small tit Latina woman has sex with a wolf. <laughs> so what, Dan? Do your thing. Do your thing. Let the, that's how coronavirus started. Girl, fuck the wolf. <laughs> also, it's funny that uh, out of these women with their small tits look like low level wrestlers. They just look defined. Oh, that's what is that? That's a bad tit job. It's weird tits. You got to look up. Okay, oh, dude, I think that would snap a girl's fucking. The entire ego, if you go, you have weird tits. I'll tell you what, though. They're all smiles about it. Oh, just straight oh, puff nips. Oh, oh no. Oh, a lot of these look like they just pull oh, weird. That's a bummer. I'll tell you what's fucked up, really, is that some guy had to all day long go, baby, you're beautiful. Get those, get oh, that shirt off. Oh, Jesus yeah. fucking she's like, Christ. She's like, no, my tits are no good. And you're like, shut up. Can they're you? Great. Can we tweet out this link to this Google search? Because this is... Oh, fuck. Does that girl have a big, t- weird teen plays with very huge tit and fast sausage? Can you go to that picture right down in the, lo- the lower uh-huh. one in the middle? And fast right sausage? And what is that? What's going on That's there? fake. Those are just big fake. Like I mean, those are that's like that's like plastic. That's like something she's wearing over her chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are, that's like those dick... Do you ever see those big dick porns where it's just fake dicks? Yeah, and then they come forever. Yeah, those guys, yeah. They, never, they never show you the base of the dick because it's just a fucking fake thing over their dicks. That Talking makes me about. so mad, the fake, the fake load. 
like where it's like spray, like they do the like SNL vomit gag. Yeah, the- have, yeah. have you ever seen? Oh. Oh. How, about, how about when it like doesn't come out of the dick like hole the right way? It's like obvious yeah. shooting out of the wrong part of the dick. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's guys, look at Ed Sheeran. Go up, Christine. You missed Ed Sheeran all the way to the right. Here, bro. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Oh my lord! Dude, you convinced, her, you <laughs> convinced her to get sexy for a picture. Do it, uh, be ashamed. Do it. Be yeah. ashamed of yourself. What happened to that, you got, guys? Stop talking. That's Mary Ann Gillis. You'd be cool about it. Yeah, you yeah. should be. She should be embarrassed. Dude, look at her chocolate dip tits. <laughs> oh, Damn, man. Yeah. It's gross, man. Oh, man. That's a- now, here's the thing. Look, go, go to the <laughs> offer.com. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> go to the offer.com one. Now, I'll tell you, you'd rather have these. Now, these are all visual. These. these are all visuals. So we have to explain them. But this yeah. woman to the right looks like she has chihuahua tits. They're just small, uh-huh. weird. <sighs> yeah, those aren't much better when she's on her back either. The blonde, the blonde doesn't look bad where it says weird tits. Not that one. It says weird tits right and here. fun bags. Oh, God, that lady has armpit hair. Yeah, that's great. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice... But if you go to the, fucking... the big girl all the way on the left, well, up top now. But um, like I said, you'd rather deal with that situation. Yeah, I mean, you'd, you'd, rather, you'd rather go there than, than deal with these these little weird things. Dude, that's a fucking... That's a whole bag of fun. Yikes. Damn. Uh, that's upsetting, man. Just a pile of nipple. I mean, tits are so delicate the way they come out. They can come out real. Buddy, I was looking at, I am now completely uh, enamored by. (laughs) What are we doing here? What are we doing? Guys, all the people. We're trying to get you to come, Shane. We're trying to get you to come in the trophy room. Let me try to find this site that that I've been looking at. My mom walked down here. Otherwise, I would (laughs) have. While you. If your mom would have walked in and been like, "What are your friends talking about?" It's just weird granny tits. Guys, I've been going this thing. I've been going this thing called NudeLive dot com, and it's just like it's not the it's like the public. uh, Nude Live is like isn't that one of those uh, ads before you watch porn? Well, I don't know, but it's 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 like it's like it's like people doing. If you look at the couples, it's people doing like webcam porn from their houses, and I had to get Christina. They had to call her over. Because there was a girl blowing. By, by the way, so much just like four people in the room just clearly have an agreement. Like, all right, sweetie, suck these guys' dicks, and then try to get people to go pray. It looks so de- depraved. But I had to call Christine over yesterday because there was a dude. Talk about Peroni's disease. His dick at its raging, its raging heat was fucking. I mean, a ninety degree straight down angle. Christine, am I right? Crazy. I said it. It must have just not. It was like a huge dick, and maybe it just wasn't all the way hard. It wasn't that it big. Was like it angry. wasn't that. It wasn't huge. Because it was like that. Uh-huh. But it, it did. It did. It had a fucking complete. I mean, bend straight down in the middle. I uh, the wrong yeah. way too. Not even like up for like. Geez, it was like bent the wrong way. Christine, <laughs> new Google search: severely bent dicks. I don't want to. This is this is getting down a weird Pit, dark hole. Oh. I see, Dan. You're you're not a equal opportunity for the ladies now. You just no, want to show dude. tits. You want to shit on fucking fat girl tits and little ugly tits. Not at you all. Can't look at weird dicks now. I love I love chocolate dip tits. Can, I we, was, so, can we also put a pin in uh, the video after we're done with this? The video I sent you guys because uh, we did oh. find what? The, yes, we did find the nipple pig man. We found nipple pig. <gasps> uh, real quick, I would want to say it's it's going to be funny in a month when like Jay tries telling us he's like, dude, I'm playing this new video game. It's fucking awesome. You try to see how long you can go without coming, and you like make your own. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like wait, are you? Yeah, are you playing so that? Like, so it's like I'm first person and I'm fucking this orc, right? But it's <laughs> yeah. a lot of work. And she has like she has a severe underbite and big weird sharp teeth, but like. She yeah. throws down, and her butt just I think, moves. Uh, Perfect. McCusker actually clicked that and like started trying to play it. Really? It was he was like it was just like Age of Empires. There was no fucking. He was like I ended up That's just funny. building like a village for a while, and the whole time he was building it, he was like, I guess my guys are gonna fuck in this thing. <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> nobody ever fucked. <laughs> my favorite built a village. My favorite next to porn description is try to last two minutes not coming to this, and you click it. And it's always just like. <laughs> 
ho hum porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know what's? What if there was a thing like you know how they can do that thing if the dress is green or the dress is gold or blue? What if there was a pattern that they knew that if they showed you, it would make you come? So they're like, "Good luck not coming." You're okay, you're like, <laughs> it's fucking dripping. I couldn't oh. make it. I couldn't. I, I didn't live up to the challenge. It's pulling it out of me. I think it's like a burger challenge. Like if you don't come in two minutes, we put your name on the wall. <laughs> it's just you stroking a hard dick like no problem. <laughs> I don't care. I don't give a shit. That's your eight seconds holding onto the bowl. You're just like, Jacob, <laughs> Jacob, are you pounding at all at your mom's house? Weird. Oh, stop. Weird. It's that's not real. It's that's not real. Not, there's no way that's real. That's there's fake. There's no fucking way that's real. That's that, that Mario. Oh, 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 you ever seen a turtle oh, dick? Oh. <laughs> no, oh. Come on. Dude, Come this on. Is a, the, His finger. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at that, dude. That looks like it turns on fans. Weird. What happened? Well, first of all, can we... Hold on. Evans. That's fake. I mean, that's definitely fake. Evans. You have why, real. Why, when we looked at tits, it was a bunch of little pictures that... We, <laughs> this one, you're scrolling and revealing like that's Jason taking right. his mask <laughs> off. Like, the, like where we have to be surprised by the horror that's, <laughs> that's about to be unveiled. Well, Joe, one was a Google search of Google Images, and this is a Reddit thread. That looks oh like when they, that looks like in car, that dick looks like in cartoons where they eat the fish head and then skin it to his bones. <laughs> Damn, dude! If you have oh, like if you're that's dick, a little periscope, dude. Yeah. If I had that dick, whenever my dick got hard, I'd go like this. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, gopher's poking out of the hole. That guy really manicures his bush for having such a little ween. Um, I'll tell you what. Flash a little dick. Huh? Dude, that, that opens doors. I'll tell you what. Like, some, of these, some of these pictures here, which they have guys that have, I mean, I can only describe as seven-inch circumference dick heads and then thin dicks. That's got to be a real, like, letdown for a girl. That's like getting fucked with, like, a like a tennis ball on the end of a cane. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like well, you, you get opened up real, you get opened up real thick. And then all of a sudden there's just nothing behind it. Like, I feel like the dick's not touching any walls. Cause the, the, the fullback's too big breaking the hole. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. That's, you got that's a truck a, to that hole. Dude, you that's know, a Mike, Mike Allstott dickhead and a Warwick Dunn dickhead. Yeah, dude. A little scat yeah. back shaft. <laughs> or it's one of those bands that you go see and they play their massive hit up front you go see the darkness and they play i believe in a thing called love and then everything else is like i don't even know what the song is hell yeah, yeah dude fucking yeah. half back half back draw up the middle yeah the europe, europe used to open and close with the final countdown <laughs> that's goddamn right yeah that'd be like if that dude had a thick bass and just a medium and a weird shaft would you Joey, would you yeah. rather have? I can't speak for uh, Dan and Shane. I don't know Shane's dick, and I know Dan's got a big, huge, fat cock. But, I don't have a big, huge. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And there's a Dan knows my dick. Daniel knows my penis. He's got a good piece, strong piece on the boy. Yeah, yeah. it's all right. It's all right. I appreciate Dan say, saying it's strong. It's okay. Shane, Shane's got Jacob, a heavy. Thank cock. you, Jacob's just sitting here nodding like, hmm, very humble. <laughs> Wait, Jacob, did you answer my question? Have you been Have you been pounding at your mom's at all? I can't hear you for some reason. Jay, I'll go ahead and answer that. Uh, I, I'll tell you what, I, have, I haven't been home this whole time. I just got home for the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, it, the fire's back when it comes to jerking off. Jerking off at your parents' house, it's like a, it's, it's like a honeymoon. It's, it's like I renewed my vows with you my know, it's, dick. And, it's uh, like, yeah, it's like when Rocky goes back to the old gym in Philadelphia. Yeah. And he's like, I know, I know how to work here. I know how to. You, you went back to Mickey's, got back to basics. Yeah, dude. I went back to my roots. And yeah, uh, last night, last night was a magical experience. Yeah, it's like pulling your He-Man toys out of the attic, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. But, but, uh, but, but Dan, every, every time I go home for Christmas, it's a snowball fight. Dan and Dan and Jacob both, I believe, said they cannot smack at their relatives' households. I can't. I don't at my grandma's. You do pound at your mom's. Oh, come on, dude. So, hey, your grandma's. That's weird, dude. It smells right. like mothballs and shit. Thank you. That's what I said. It smells like lavender, busted yeah. nuts. If you were your grandma's, Joe, if you were your grandma's for a, for a, a week, yeah. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't pound? Well, they're dead. I can't say to now because they're dead. But uh, okay, then, uh, no. then you, then you can do it. <laughs> I go to the mausoleum where she's buried. <laughs> Joe's, not, Joe's not allowed at the cemetery because they've caught him masturbating too many times at his grandma's grave. 
they have to open a you have to open a crypt door to see joe pounding in a lawn chair yeah he goes, <laughs> he goes i'm gonna he just shows the, his phone to his grandma's uh headstone he goes this is what i'm jerking off to yeah. now all right let's get into it the graveyard keeper goes i caught some dude laying flowers in the fucking graveyard the other day <laughs> yeah. laying oh. flowers yeah it means pounded off in the graveyard but wait but shane did you <laughs> shane did you jerk it at stanhope's yes yeah, that feels like that's neutral territory. Well, I had a get. There was a guest house there. Yeah, I wasn't like in his. Ha- I mean, I still would have. I was there for like three weeks. I definitely would have jerked off. Yeah, what was it took it, a Jim- minute. The quarantine taking it out of me a little. I'm I'm down to like I'm like yeah. every other day maybe. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah. I think yeah, that's everyone. That. I th- everyone slowed down. Jay, what was the would you rather? You were going to ask me if I'd rather something with dicks. Would you rather have a significantly larger dick, but like? It has like an odd look to it, or would you rather just keep the dick uh, you have? I'm happy with the dick I have. It served me well. I mean, if I had an option to prove it, sure, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't trade it for like a, you know, a weird swap. You know what I mean? Anything in the world, Jacob. <laughs> is, your is your microphone working? Yet? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. All right. What's going on over there? How's your jerks uh, going? I I, bro- <laughs> I broke down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, the pressure of valves had to be released, but it was like I yeah. took a shower at 3 a.m. in the morning. Oh, dude. And then you just. <laughs> While everyone was asleep. Your parents woke up to just a weird, like, are there coyotes outside? You're like, oh. Uh, uh, get it all out of there. me. It was not uh, not my best jerk. How much, how much did you jizz, dude? Was it jizz everywhere? I mean, I think it's a good question. It's pretty good for you know because it was so backed up. Yeah, did you yeah. feel like it, it, so when you milk? What'd you do with all the milk? Did you rub it in? <laughs> no, man, I don't get into that. I want to. I want to. I want to be cleaned and ready for bed as soon as oh. possible. <laughs> Jacob actually shared his jerk off tactics with everybody on the live YouTube show a couple weeks yeah. ago. Jane, he's precision. He's like a sniper rifle. He does. Jacob folds a. Uh, he folds a. Uh, a napkin or a paper towel up until no, it's no, about, it's, uh, yeah two tissues yeah until it's yeah. Until it's about a it's about a two no, and a half inch it. like a two and a half inch by one and a half inch square like rectangle rather oh. and he no, plays no, it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Darn, good no, Jacob. Explain, yeah jacob explain your own technique look you know when a, a tissue has a natural crease and natural crease yeah. so you would <laughs> fold it so it's a rectangle and then fold it so it's a square and that's the it's about that. Okay. Wait, so you so when you do it, do you do you come and then wipe your dick like a bottle of wine when someone's serving it, like, <laughs> like that? I mean, I want it, but I don't want to go off the outside the lines. Yeah, I get it. I do a Mister Perfect gum grab where I shoot it and catch it. I swat it away. You, know, you don't even have to catch it. You just, you yeah. just fire it up in the air and then slap off, it out of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I go perfect here. every time. Can Fuck I it. ask a question? Because Shane actually got me thinking about this. When he 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 said that uh, one of the girls that you were just looking at had like hairy armpits, and now I'm thinking, I always thought about uh, historical movies. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Braveheart always comes to mind because the girl, uh, like William Wallace's wife, in in the movie. Has the nicest smile I've ever seen, but in real <laughs> life, I'm thinking Mrs. Wallace had no teeth. You know what I mean? So in reality, how far and back in time would you want to go? It's a good point. Movies can deceive you because they're all like shaved armpits and beautiful teeth, but that's not the reality. Jacob, all I think about when I watch those movies is what those pussies must have smelled like back then. Yeah, Just I mean, it's those- gotta be. Ra- I mean, I, I, when you watch Robin Hood, and he's like. Fuck's made Marion. You're like yeah. that thing stunk yeah. like Friar yeah. Tuck. Well, let me it just t- smells like it just smells like fucking <laughs> wet woods. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Black Lou. Only Black Lou <laughs> laughed at that reference. <laughs> it's so into Braveheart, and when Mel- that movie was like uh, the Academy Awards night, it was like the one time I watched, and I was like so rooting for Mel. Like this movie better fucking win. You were ro- you were rooting for Mel. He hates you, just for but, the record. He thinks that, you started then, all the wars. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm bringing this up. <laughs> I was so pro Mel Gibson after Braveheart, and then when those tapes came out, man, 
I was I was horrified. Yeah, he basically and, might yeah, be like to his it. biggest his biggest fan. Uh, he would put me in a camp. Yeah, if he could, <laughs> if he could, he would. He goes, Jacob, you're supposed to blow me before jacuzzi. Yeah. I have a question for Black Lou, actually. Black Lou, because you're the only other uh, quarantined couple yes. here in the situation. Do you, have you found, have you been, have you, since you're both home all the time, right? Like the whole day, with, uh, with little exception. Are you guys, do you think you guys are jerking it separately in separate rooms and, and not even talking about it? Me and Christine have discovered that we are both jerking off when we're in, just doing separate things in different rooms. Did you guys catch each other like a sitcom? No, no, we've never caught each other. We just, me and Christine are pretty open. So we just talk. Yeah. I'm like, jerking, jerking it all this week. She's like, yeah, the other day or something. And it's like me. I'm like, oh, yeah, for sure. And it's just like, just because it, it's, it's sometimes not even just like a, I'm horny and want to fuck. It's just like you said, it's like a release. just like something to do for 10 minutes and fucking <clears throat> fire went off. You know, Black Lou, is that is that the case with you guys? I mean, yeah, I I, I pretty much know if the showers are longer than normal, what's going on. <laughs> Normally, me, I just wait till like three thirty in the morning after I'm done playing Grand Theft Auto because I know there's no chance of turn all the air conditioners up high. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm a wet jerker, so it makes a lot of noise, you know. Oh yeah. yeah, and you just got done killing a hooker in Grand Theft Auto, and you're all horned up. Very interesting. Lou said that because I have I I waited for the air conditioning unit to go on. Yeah, I knew my window. Like Shawshank. Yeah, dude, you gotta wait. When I uh, living with Vecchio, living with Vecchio, I have to turn on the AC in the winter. Cause it's too silent. <laughs> it's just like this is where so our walls are so thin. If I don't kick on like the fan on the AC, at least it'll just be like. <laughs> I don't turn the uh, I don't turn the air on, but as I'm jerking off, I go. <laughs> <laughs> Joe does an air conditioner. Like, <laughs> B Rod, how about you? You guys are in a studio, though, right? Yeah, that's right. So, so nobody could jerk off privately. No, we just have to have sex. Great. <laughs> oh, just oh, Angel's just got, great. Angel has his back to her, and she's like, "Angel, what are you doing?" He's like, "Just give me one more second. Give me one more second." She's like, "What are you doing?" Like, I was whittling this for you. Like, oh. <laughs> The beauty they have, though, is also they were apart for so many, for so long, for the last like couple of years now. They haven't been living together, so yeah. this has to be yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's heavenly. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> plugged or what? <laughs> <laughs> if you just made everyone's dicks move a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> your uh, your neighbors definitely hate him being home because forever they're like. <laughs> Sometimes there's this podcast going on and some of the people yell, but that's usually during the day and then now it's just like, meow, meow. <laughs> okay, Does he ever take you right on the audio console there? <laughs> Hell yeah, Joe. <laughs> sure, Presser. Does he ever, does he still on? Sure, does, he still have, on. does he ever have you on the screen printer? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She goes, Angel, you're going to laugh, but I have a real, a real ass podcast logo wet on my butt right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My left vag lift says no disrespect on it. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Lou, is your girl still there? No, no she, she went home. She went home. Oh. We couldn't take each other after a while. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, it was two weeks in a row. We kind of got on each other's nerves. No shit. Yeah. She was really cutting into your pounding? <laughs> There's no pounding when she's in the room, no. Not when she's in the room. What do you do to be quiet, though, when your brother's there, when Stu's in the other room? Oh, just turn the TV up. Oh, oh man, that's it. Man, you, guys, you guys operate fast and loose over there. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, hey, hey, Lou, can you turn down Cheers? He's like, five minutes. I just got to listen to it loud for five more minutes. I'm just, I'm just seeing if I can get this fucking alert system in case I fall down. Oh, fuck, I'm going to fall down. Oh, Sam fall Malone. Down. Sam Malone. Oh, what was the name of the seafood restaurant upstairs? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what are you so dumb? Oh, how does Cliff, Cliff Clavin knows nothing? I'm going to feel oh. buzzed. Oh, God, I missed coach i miss coach <laughs> <laughs> john Ratzenberger. 
<laughs> John Ratzenberger. <laughs> John Rat is he still alive? John Ratzenberger? Oh yeah, hell's yeah. He was just oh, in something. I was I was just with the rats last week. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Ratzenberger's doing is great. Ratzen the question is, when's Ratzenberger not doing great? Hell yeah. Wint's in a new movie. There's a new movie out with George Wint in it. Dude, really? Don't knock, don't knock yeah. Norma. We're gonna have real big problems, DeRosa. I'm not knocking me. him. I'm saying he's in a new movie. You well, come from Norm to Wint, you come from me. What was I, Norm's what was Norm's last work? Was it the Michael Jackson's black or white video? I think so, where he I, was the mean father. He's in an episode of uh this might have been it. He, he's in an episode of Masters of Horror where he plays a serial killer. Oh, by the way, was he a mean father, Dan, in that episode? Or was he a guy protecting himself from a child predator? Was he protecting his son, Macaulay Culkin, from a child predator? Jason, hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah, really. You're like He's a mean dad. He goes, is he a mean dad? Everyone's a mean dad, right? When you try to keep your daughter from going out to clubs at 13, are you being mean or are you trying to protect her from the world? Yeah. Maybe he was just trying to make sure Michael Jackson didn't get his digits in him. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And by the way, by all accounts, Macaulay Culkin says... No Never fun is between him and Michael Jackson. And that's probably thanks to George Wendt. So why don't you mind your P's and Q's, Dan? I know you've always been a Cliff Clavin guy, but come on. I'm dying in the wool. Know, did you guys know that uh, the owner of Eastville Comedy Club, uh, whose name is Marco, for those at home that don't know, is dear friends with Macaulay Culkin? I do yeah, know. Macaulay Culkin, one time I came out of a, a, doing a set at Eastville, and I just walked out of the bar, and Macaulay Culkin was just sitting there. I was like, that's fucking weird. Is it impossible because he's so pasty and just has like pink, uh, like eyelids and everything, and, and and such a juicy mouth that he always looks like he's on drugs? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I don't think I've ever watched Home Alone and gone, man. Kevin McAllister's got a juicy ass no, mouth. No, he's got no, no, no. I'm saying as an adult, he's got like very wet, fucking pink lips, like Dan Natterman. And his eyes have that, like, he's very pasty, and he's got, like, those, like, pink, like, circles around his eyes. It looks like he's always, like, coming off. To, he can't convince me he's not on drugs always. I find that he's Doesn't grown it? into his looks quite a bit and is a handsome man now. The brother, on the other hand, to me, looks as like a, he looks like a duck. He said, looks like what, Shane? Looks like, like a cartoon duck. Yeah. yeah. Like if Howard the Duck <laughs> yeah. was a real person? Yeah. He's like, he my father's Howard the Duck. Oh, he yeah. does look exactly like Howard the Duck. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a good-looking duck. He does look duckish. Hot, dude, you're going to start calling Macaulay Culkin a hot duck. What a duck. hot duck. No, but his brother... There, the, there you go, with the long hair. Go to the long hair picture and you see what I mean. Yeah. That's when he looked. That's. I think he was on drugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go, look at like. this guy. looks like he's on heroin. You go, he's on heroin. Oh, I, forgot, yeah. dude, I forgot he banged Kunis in a heyday. Damn, dude. He ran through a couple of goodies. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's been putting hands. Culkin might be. He might be the man. Yeah, I think right. he is. Yeah. He's a wrestling fan. He's well, he's mega tight with Marco, so. Well, I think they grew up him a bit. <laughs> he seems like I've read up on him a little bit, and obviously, it's like being a superstar at five years old was a lot. But it seems like he actually is as well adjusted as you could be with that yeah. type of life. He's pretty and handsome, which means later on, me and Christine are going to separate room beat off to it <laughs> yeah uh his brother is like so good on succession uh i guess it's kieran yeah oh, holy shit yeah. that kid's a fucking tremendous actor what um oh wait george went though he's somebody's uncle whose uncle is he again michelle michelle went. oh is that true wait michelle who wolf no, Michelle Wynn. Have you guys ever met my uncle? No, no, he's no, no. Norm. <laughs> no, not Michelle. No, no, he's somebody famous. He's somebody famous's uncle. Hey, Michelle's guys, got an my Michelle's got an Emmy, dude. What do you need more from her? I ain't my uncle's about... Lowell from Wings. <laughs> Just people that you did <laughs> He's somebody else's uncle, like an actor, a male actor. From Steven TV. Weber's my dad. <laughs> How do people don't know my real last name is Weber? Yeah, that's who it is. It's Sudeikis. Yeah. Sudeikis' his uncle's George Went. Well, shit, then Michelle is George, J J Jason Sudeikis' cousin? Did we know that? What? No, is Michelle actually George Went's niece? I got to I'm going to double check that. Christine just throwing out what's facts. What's going on over here? I think that's a completely made up fact. <laughs> Holy shit, all these dots are connected. <laughs> God they're from, damn. They're from Ohio, Michelle. They're fucking let's start making up, let's start making up uh, family members from TGIF. <laughs> oh, that'd be. Dude, I'd love to fake it and say that somebody's related to Kouye. 
I would love to say that Shane was Patrick Duffy's niece or nephew. <laughs> Shane's Patrick <laughs> Duffy's nephew. Patrick's yeah. my step by step. Yeah, yeah, dude. That yeah, was wasn't, dude? That wasn't TGIF, but I'll take it. Yeah, that was but, absolutely. Yeah. It was TGIF. It was step by no. step. Hundred dollars right now, DeRosa. I ain't, I ain't got that kind of money to throw around these days. Dude, well, Stacy 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 Keenan was my jam. So, Rosa, uh, how confident are you, dude? I'll bankroll you. Bankroll him, Shane. I bet I bet you twenty bucks. Bet twenty bucks was Shane bankrolling you? I think I think step, step by step, step was uh, was not TGIF because I remember <clears throat> you throw, you're throwing away Shane's money right now, dude. I think he's I I now I was too young maybe for the the genesis of TGIF, but I I don't remember step by step being on. Dude, TGIF. what do you think Stacy Keenan looks like now? It I was, was all about her. It was Black right. Lou. Forget the bet. There's too many people. All right, never mind. That's all. No, 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 no. Step by step, day by day. Uh, That's best, all. Yeah, it was part of it. It was Sorry, part no of deal. TGIF yeah. changed a lot over the yeah. years, so. though. Mister Belvedere was part of TGIF. Step by step. Dinosaurs, dude. Rosa. Not the mama. Hanging with Mister C- Sister Sister. <laughs> <laughs> dude, these just sound like things that you say when you're blown away. You go, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Nothing nine ninety nine. This list. This list is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, Dan. If I run into you, I see you twenty years. Well, hanging with Mister Cooper is that Dan Soder I see over well, there? Well, just the ten of us. Just the... <laughs> <laughs> clueless. What was Clueless? Can you look up? Clueless was a TV show based on the movie that I loved. <laughs> Christine, yeah. can you look up Stacey Keenan now from Step mm-hmm. by Step? And then the other, I want to see what happened to the handsome, big, dumb older brother because I thought he was going to have a career, and then he did. He did some action movies, I think. Wait, you're talking about the guy that lived in the van? The cousin? Sasha something. Yeah, one he, was of them... a, he was in Kickboxer 2, dude. Yes, that's what it was, yeah. Didn't Kickboxer. Didn't one of the step-by-step kids get in trouble for something? I don't know. Let's look into step-by-step. Let's take one a break. Got, let's take our first break real quick, and then we'll get into step-by-step knowledge. We'll break down some TG. Where, where are they now? TGIF? I'll play let's a little where are they now. We can also pick, we can also pick uh, fake relatives as... I assigned Patrick Duffy to Shane, but God knows if that's going to stick. Well, you know the uh, Balky Bartokamus is DJ Lou's stepfather. That's I also have great. a list of twenty famous people you probably forgot were related, and pretty. I did. I did not know a lot of this. Maybe we'll look at weird tits again. Who knows? It doesn't even matter. It's always great. Uh, we're hanging out with the young bull Shane Gills is with us the whole show. Everyone, it's great to have him back. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. Troubles on. We are recording. Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. We are back. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soder, Quarantine Third Mike, Joe DeRosa, the whole crew is here. B-Rod's pressing shirts. And sitting in all the way from Mechanicsburg, PA, it's the young bull, Shane Gillis. Uh, yes. Check out Matt and Shane's secret podcast available wherever you download podcasts from. Um, before we went to break, we were talking about the, a little bit of a where are they now, TGIF. And uh, Stu Stacy Keenan was my girl from My Two Dads. I go back to thinking she was hot. Um, and even when I was like a little kid, I, you know, you think she was cute in Adventures in Babysitting. Yeah, I knew she was going to be pretty when she grew up. I yeah, that's a it. great call, dude. I love this girl. I haven't seen this girl in so many years, dude. Yeah, yeah I used to love it's this. W- shit. You know, it's weird. She played wow. Dana. She played Dana on Step by Step. But she wasn't mine. I liked uh, AJ. I liked the younger sister with the dark hair. Really. Do you know the youngest sister that they got rid of just one year on Family Matters went on to just do hardcore pornography? Wait, I don't think the character's name is AJ. Wait, who did? Um, the youngest uh, daughter on Family Matters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just got rid of her one year. and then she. Oh, went, yeah, I saw that. I saw that on that, like, look at what this person's up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick, I'm sorry. The character's name is Al. Al, that's who it is. That's the girl? Yeah. The actress's name is, and I'll tell you what it is. I got to right tell you, I think I like a couple of girls on just the Christine, ten of us. It's Christine Lankin, Lacken. On just the ten of us, I think I like most of the daughters. Dude, they had <laughs> ten kids. They stayed fucking. Google, Google, Google the age of those girls during time of filming. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the girl I liked. I had a crush on her because she was like my age, and I was like, "What's up?" Very tomboyish. I used to think wow, uh, I used to think Candace Cameron was really pretty, and then her face just kept growing. I saw her at a party once. She's pretty hot in real life. 
So yeah, she's, got a, she's, she's got a real pie face, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's real <laughs> round. Yeah, but they're super. That whole Cameron clan is super into Jesus. They do all the rapture shit. Yeah, isn't she, mar- isn't she married to, like, Pavel Bure or something? Well, no. What? The I don't think she's is- into it, Dan. I think it's just Kirk. No, nah, dude. I, I think no, that. No, she's Jesus. As a family, they're she's, like. She's married to, I think she's married to, like, a fucking. Major Little Larry Bure. Bure. Oh, Barrett. Oh, wow. Is she, yeah, it's not a Barry. I think it's Pavel Burry's brother. Pavel Burry. Dude, Pavel Burry. Wow. That's like an NHL on Genesis name. E. Pavel Burry. <laughs> well, either way. Yeah, she is pretty, but I mean, she definitely, like, face is round. She loves Jesus. Yeah, the, uh, the, the one girl who I didn't, uh, I remember particularly just never thinking was pretty from just the 10 of us was the girl from Nightmare on Elm Street, Heather Langenkamp. Never dug her look. Uh, was just yeah, she t- didn't do it for me either, but I, I, was, like, a, I was a fan. But yeah. Just the Ten of I Us learned- was the spinoff from Growing Pains, right? He was yeah, a gym yeah. coach. Or, he was, he was a gym teacher, and uh, he was the coach in Growing Pains. Which, it's so funny, now that we're older, you realize that was not a real spinoff. It was, we have another sitcom, and the way we're going to launch it is planting this character on Growing Pains for five episodes. But do you think he was, uh, do think it, do you think it, he was the, uh, the gym teacher? But do you think that's what he was the gym Harrigan? teacher with? He was a gym teacher with ten kids. Yeah, dude. Yeah. G- that show should have been. That should have just been about like a welfare, like just yeah. hell. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, Shane, when you're all juiced, I'm bringing up in fourteen thousand dollars a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I have summers off to really make sure you don't become whores, dude. If, well, I mean, if you, they like weren't his kids, right? They were like all foster kids. He looks like no, 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 no. no, no they were dude. all his kids. That was all farm to table, Joe. He the looks th- like life th- goes on, months, dude. Yeah, the three months he wasn't teaching, he was busting nuts in his fucking his wife's. Can we, can we talk about the actual actor there? The how rock hard he must have been every day filming. Yeah, oh really. Well, they made God. his wife. They made his wife. I believe she was like in one of those situations where he was a bald, fat guy, and she was like a pretty lady. I think just one of those situations. Of us? What's that bet- redhead looking like now from just Dude, ten of us? I'll tell you what about the redhead. Every she was the whore daughter, and th- there was a lot of shows in the eighties. Uh, that really had a father dealing with a whore daughter. Very interesting. <laughs> remember, too, remember, too close to comfort. The blonde, yeah, whore yeah, daughter. Yeah, uh, just the oh, ten of us. Man. The redhead was a whore daughter, and it's always yeah, like, whore daughter, they, but then, but he the, was, they would never, they would never get involved. They would never get involved. Obviously, Kelly Bundy, but they would never get involved <laughs> in like, why are you being a whore? They just like it was just the world. They need to bring that back. We have too many whores now because the whore dad trope is gone. Yeah, They actually did an episode because we've been rewatching a little bit of Married with Children and there was an episode where Kelly kind of says she's going to go off with this guy and her and Al Bundy's just like, "Uh uh-huh, uh-huh. And then as she leaves, he's like, maybe that was a cry for help. Right. Like he thinks it to himself. But also he he, want to deal with her daughter's real reasons for being whores. Al Bundy has fucking defended uh, Kelly a couple times on the show. uh, Yeah. Yes. But. That said, in the daily goings of her, like, I'm getting gang-banged by this local rock band because I'm going to hang out with them. Or he didn't give a shit at all. I, Jay, I would, I would disagree. I think most of the time, like, he runs. Th- the running gag on that show is he grabs the guy and, like, rams his head into the wall when he catches her with Kelly. Like, and then he, like, runs to her rescue on many episodes. Yeah. <laughs> You but know? he's never. But he's never talked to her about stopping the behavior. Do you understand what uh, I mean? Well, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. That, well, you'd have no show happen. at that point. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, exhausting. Parents, it's expected. Jay, you wanted a you wanted a real down and gritty fucking uh, real true to life married with children, didn't you? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, look at her. She <laughs> very well. Yeah, you got. I like the psychology behind the whore behavior. Let's dive into that. She, she was a like pretty good place star. Yeah, Dan. The psychology is usually uh, no dad. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Their dad's overactive and they're a whore. The science is important. Pussy bits. dad usually Pussy. means true. It can also uh, be no mom or present dad who's drunk all the time. Uh, well, I, now I think you're assigning things on Al Bundy that weren't true. Christine, you could probably do cast of just the ten of us then and now. I looked it up. Whore daughter turned out pretty great. I forgot that she was kind of like a. They always made whoring okay in the eighties if you were a bimbo, if you just didn't get it. I used to be like, is that why they took me backstage? Everyone's like, oh, you stupid idiot! Yeah, I I not, everybody's, not everybody's blowing the security guard. 
It's like not whoring anymore. It's taking control of your sexuality. Yeah, I had a yeah, uh, that's being a whore. In LA, <laughs> in a, I had a bit when I lived in L.A. about like very special episodes that never aired of sitcoms. Yeah. And the, this never worked. The Frasier one was about Roz finally breaking down and saying she was molested. <laughs> yeah, like, dude. She fucked so many dudes, you know? Uh, but, oh, yeah. Was Roz, was Roz getting banged out all the time? Constant. They, they make diseases about, they make jokes about her having VD on the show. Oh, she dude, I wasn't that, I didn't go that constantly. deep. I didn't go that deep into the Frasier universe. I've been through the all entire all... catalog four or five times at this point. I was going to say, is this crazy to say that I don't know if I've ever seen front to back an episode of Frasier? You've seen one. You've seen, I haven't, you've I haven't seen, either. You've seen them one. You've seen them all, Jay. Let me tell you. Here's the, I'll dare you. I'll dare you. Of, I've seen here's a lot the of the show Coach in my life. Before I had a laptop, I watched a lot of Coach to go to bed in hotel rooms. Tell me where you went wrong on that. Craig T. Nelson, one of the Van Dykes, not even the top one, and yeah. fucking Dauber. Yeah, and the Dauber. Dauber. Yeah, yeah, you know what, Jay Soder's always kind of reminded me of the Dauber a little bit. I he swear to God, Joe, Dauber vibe. No, I, he's, he, Dan's a motorcycle accident away from being Dauber. Joe, <laughs> I don't even. What's Dauber? What's Dauber? He was the he was the big idiot on Coach Joe. One of my favorite things ever. One of the first uh, weekends I ever worked at Laughs Comedy Club in Tucson, Arizona. I was emceeing, and I walk into the green room. I forget who the fucking headline was, and I go, "Hey, man, nice to meet you." And he goes. Chill out, Dauber. He just said that. <laughs> really? He, <laughs> he goes, dude, your voice sounds like Dauber. I was like, that's so fucking. Dan, Dan I'm going to say something I've never said to another man before. <laughs> yeah. You, you got served. I did get served. <laughs> I got served hot. But you know what, yeah. Coach? Yeah, Dan, you know, your, voice, your voice was made for a lunkhead. You are far too brilliant <laughs> for your voice. Uh, I'm supposed to be like this. I'm supposed to be like, well, is that what you guys wanted to do? And you're like, I should have a nickname instead of be, uh, being a name where you'd be like, come on, dozer. And I'm like, all right, guys. Do you know what I think? Because I'd like you to bring up, by the way, uh, well, don't bring up a picture. I, mean, I don't want to do that to you. But just to describe your buddy, Mike, who is a football coach, is a is a slight man. Like, he's not a he's big a, guy. He's a tiny guy. Slight's the wrong word, but he's a little guy. And I think maybe that you and him at a museum school trip one day touched a, some sort of a, an old relic. Yeah, he said, switch places <laughs> because how are you not a fucking professional football coach? All six yeah. foot four, five of you, uh, a sturdy, statuesque uh, build, uh, and why are you not a lunkhead football coach? And your little fucking tiny friend isn't hilarious. Yeah, how did that, go? How did that work out? I go, hey guy, yeah, I found this weird places. Switch I go, look places. At, I go, Jay, look at this Egyptian spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I go, bond and flip, bond and flip. Ah! <laughs> it's so funny to look at the two of you. If you just showed, if none of you were recognizable, and they just go, "Hey, which one of these guys is a, is a football coach? Which one of these guys is a comedian?" They would never guess that you're the comedian. He, here, I'll bring up a picture so everyone can see on the stream. But it does look the size, like because he was always small. He was always a tiny guy. Yeah, it's so funny. I mean, that's him next to Dan. Is that, dude? I swear to God, I thought that was David Spade. I was like, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's that's how little he is next to Dan. Forget JJ Watt or some fucking giant <laughs> Wayne Johnson motherfucker. <laughs> and he's gonna yell at these guys and control them with uh, what I can only guess is not Dan's voice. Yeah, you know, he's like, hey guys, uh, yeah, dudes. Come on, dudes. Bring it in. Take a knee. Raheem, Raheem, when you run the outside seam on that three technique, you got to fucking go through. All right, run it again. And instead, I'm like, uh, I'm really excited for Kenny Omega and Matt Hardy to take on uh, Chris Jericho. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. You're supposed to be you, you have a dweeb's interests. I do. I have a I have a I have a I have a sissy boy's interests. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Shane got the personality for his look. You know what I mean? Shane matches yeah. up all the way down the line. Yeah, he yeah. does. DeRosa matches up <laughs> all the way down the line. Yeah, Jay. DeRosa, you little fucking piece of shit. See? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, Joe. Shane's, I miss you. I miss Shane's you, our buddy. Chet. He's our real-life Chet. You're yeah. stewed, yeah. but wads. <laughs> <laughs> How about a nice greasy Jay pork up. sandwich in a dirty ashtray? I don't think I don't think Jay's matches up. You don't think Jay matches up? No. No, he's right. Probably his, not. I think his looks are a lot more 
uh, fucking edgy than he is as a like he's like a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying like it, he has the looks of a guy that has zero morals, and Jay yeah. cares a lot about other people. Yeah, yeah. Derosa, yeah. I think I might throw be it the to most, the wind. Derosa might be the most spot on. Yeah. Why? Why is that? I'm curious. Well, it looks like you enjoy gin. The Your answer. face looks like you enjoy gin. <laughs> <laughs> you like a cigar and a glass of wine with friends. Joe looks like Joe looks like he would stop to listen to someone play the saxophone outside. Absolutely. Uh, I've been dream, car, dream, car is a, <laughs> dream car is a Corvette Stingray. Oh, yeah, no, dude. no, 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 just no, no. You can really put the top down, just let it go through your curls. Joe really, <laughs> Joe really needs a wife with big hair. I don't know what it is. She's just going to have um, to have big hair. Big hair. But, like, but, but fucking cheerleader body, though. Yeah. I have often said, my fa- I said it on this show, my favorite hot girl of all time is, is weird science hot girl, like 80s. Yeah. <laughs> Some girl with uh with uh, teal socks pulled up over her jeans legs. You know what I mean? I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be surprised if she had one of those high pitched eighties voices where she's like, Joey, are we gonna go to the park? And you're like, We are, baby, hold on real quick. I still go uh, ninety I still go nineties Pam Anderson. Damn. Is I'm the, into like short, idea. blonde, like uh rocking cans, pressing t shirts type. Yeah. I get what Canadian Canadian gymnasts, maybe. Man, LeBrock was rocking. Jesus Christ <laughs> almighty. She really, she really turned into a fucking weirdo. Did we get up the just for 10 of us girls then and now? Speaking of people, see if no, some of them I just fucking frizzed say. out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a couple of those fucking fires simmered out hard. While we're going on, who's related to... Okay, so so Shane was related to, to Duffy, Patrick Duffy. Dan... I'm going to give you uh, Larry Appleton for Perfect Strangers. You know what? I would love it. If- or, or, but, but we already gave you Dauber, but that's not TGIF. No, but I get what you mean, and I would love to say that my dad's brother played Larry Apple, Appleton in Perfect Strangers. That'd be great, dude. Your fucking, your uncle? Yeah, your right. Uncle's fucking Larry Appleton? Oh, let me see if I remember his name. I think like I remember that guy's name, Mark. Mark Lynn Baker. Mark Lynn well, Baker. Mark, don't even give me a second to take a shot at it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Dude, J- uh, Jacob was just there ready to take the yeah. shot. He's like, just do it to me. Let me think. Now. <laughs> Jay, Jacob, Jacob's been holding that in like his load. Yeah. <laughs> like, to get that out. Jacob, Jeez, you got Christ. the jumpsticks, dude. Let me see you spin them a little. Let me see you twirl them. Give a little. Come on. Yeah, dude, give us a little. I'm actually working on stick tricks right now. But this is a stick trick, dude. Oh, watch me. I can do it a lot better. Stick tricks. With you got stick tricks, you got rifles and shit, dude. You're in, you, how how are you not drowning in pussy right now? Was just the ten of us not know. that popular of a show, or was it really? Popular? Shut up. Let's go back to just it was, the ten of us. It was, it was we'll not, shit like that. <laughs> not in the we'll league of some of these other ones. Not in the league of some of these other ones, Evans. It was definitely a hanging with Mr. Cooper level. Oh, I love versus, just the ten of us. I'm <laughs> saying though, in the in as iconic sitcoms of TGI Friday go, this was not one of the. Man, you know? he really went on to make some shit movies, most of them. Ooh, this chick was hot. The chick that w- had the eating disorder in Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why, she was hot, dude. <laughs> yeah. Who is that? That's one of the daughters? Yeah, sorry. I'm not finding like a good then and now, so I'm doing it individually, and it's not very exciting. Oh, um, I'm, gonna get, I'm saying Black Lou, 100% Carl Winslow. TGI Friday. No way, man. See, that's where you're going to go wrong. Why? Because I would say you could easily say that Black Lou is related to Holly Robinson Pete from Hanging with Mr. Cooper or Nell Carter. I was going to say Cockroach Nell from the Cosby Carter. Show. <laughs> <laughs> that's not TGI there? Friday, though. We got to stay on TGI Friday. No, Hanging with Mr. Was Cooper was TGI related. Fridays. Wasn't it funny to say related, related to Cockroach? Oh, uh, yeah. Dinosaurs. He's one of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Black Lou was all dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Black, the dinosaurs were black, right? He was the baby. He was the baby dinosaur. Hey, you guys know that Black Lou did a season of dinosaurs? Is not the mama? Boy Meets World, I wish I watched because I would have uh, been excited then when that girl went on to do full blown porn, but I just I don't have any point of reference on her. Who did porn from Boy Meets World? Maitland Ward. We've gone over this in the show before. Uh, that's the uh, worst uh, tit job I've ever seen. Maitland Ward. It would be fun to say that uh, DJ Lou is Melissa Joan Hart's cousin. Oh, yeah, for sure. But they fought at a barbecue years ago, and they don't talk. Yeah, he's been ostracized from the family. Lou got drunk and punched her boyfriend. 
I'm going to stick with Carl Winslow. They, you know, they both have the facial hair. You know, well, we moved over to DJ Lou. We were saying for that black. Oh, Lou. DJ. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Melissa Joan Hart. Okay. You thought we were saying Melissa Joan Hart was rated to Black Lou? <laughs> That's what I thought you were saying. I was like, this is, this is just yeah, crazy. Like you it unfold, though. You were suspending disbelief and just letting it unfold. That's very big of you, dude. Comedically, <laughs> you couldn't answer more than an improv partner. <laughs> hey, has anybody, has, has anybody friends enough with uh, Goldditch or Schwartz so we could watch that and take a hot shit on it? Did you see that? There's a Netflix trailer for uh, uh, the improv Netflix special. Middle Ditch and Schwartz, right? I did watch that trailer, and it's a miracle this new laptop is still in one piece. <laughs> Wait, what is it? What is it? Please bring it up with no more explanation. Let's get into it. Let's start an improv group. Dude, there's no new specials coming out on, on Netflix right now. I actually say they're lacking in their content right now for what's going on in the world. You think they'd be spilling some better shit, but uh, after Ozark, man, it's been slim pickings over there. But they did release this trailer. Agreed. <laughs> for a new yeah, Netflix yeah. special, comedy special, the one you've always been waiting for, dude. Dan, it would. Joe's right. It'll be a miracle if you don't get up and fucking, I mean, windmill kick your computer right now. <laughs> what about, I mean, will, miracle, I, will I like it? Will I like it, Jay? Am I here? There's no <laughs> cha- oh, shame. I was gonna go. I was I'm gonna go through. Yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah. gonna go for you for sure. Uh, oh, okay, I, I wasn't sure. You're gonna bite your tongue. Because the, the microscope is on you at all times now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I won't say anything. Dude, it'd be <laughs> funny if you come in and it'd be funny if uh, Phil can hear you playing improv in his trophy room Dude. and he flips out. If anyone's in earshot, Shane, of this thing, it's going to change their day. Not for the better, dude. I know this is going to suck. This is a trailer, by the way, guys, for not. Oh, no. Oh, it already guys, sucks. Guys, not one, not one, but three. Fully improvised specials. Three. <sighs> released Three simultaneously featuring Middle Ditch of Silicon Valley and the guy that played Sonic the Hedgehog. What? Is that what? true? He played yeah, Sonic? Yeah. yeah, he's Sonic. That's pretty cool. That rules. <laughs> yeah, I was Shane and I both. All the I, even Jay was I like, like, I like both those a lot. <laughs> there you go. Wow, this guy's fucking. I did, see Son- I, got, I did not see Sonic the Hedgehog. I just did not feel inspired. What a cast. See it. Jim Carrey they have in there, and you're like, I I don't even know why this has made a movie. Oh, dude. They filmed... You might as well call it like, like Pac-Man. That's a Pac-Man game. They... they <laughs> wait, film it? What's the description? Of this? It's an improv. They're improv. They're th- it's three fully improv. No, 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 Christine, get away from that. Go into this as cold as possible. All and right. Just see if it's something you might enjoy. All right. All right. All three right. three one-hour specials. Uh, dude, even the start, the start, the music made my balls go into my body. Oh. I can't promise you that I can protect you <laughs> from what's behind that door. Terrible things. <laughs> things that will scar you forever. I'm sort of turning <laughs> Werner Herzog now. Yeah. <laughs> and pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. The things I've had to do to concoct... <laughs> A, a series of words and tone and pacing together to get people to laugh out loud. It's something that we've all accomplished here. And to just see what people will start laughing at, you're just like, well, then what, is them, what, do we, then what do I do it for? Why do I take any time? Why do I give any, any oomph into it at all whatsoever when it's, it's just you know, terrible things and it gets, a, it gets a moderate laugh and you're like, I didn't say anything. That kind of group laughter makes me wish we could aim COVID. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Which was your next point, guys? COVID gun. <laughs> point, it, point it at that audience and just fucking let it out like a fart. <laughs> just fucking Here's watch them all breathe in. Here's what's interesting, and you'll you'll see it. I'm not going to spoil anything in the trailer, but do Please. take note of this. Do take note of this. That is as big as the laughter gets through the entire trailer. And this is a thing that I'm seeing people on Twitter say that these specials are riotous, that they are so good. The <laughs> laughter never goes above. This is a, a trailer for a fucking trilogy of comedy specials, and the laughter never goes above that level. Riotous. It would say, I'd say dip below. <laughs> I don't know that. I thought they would have raged, maybe, but. 
I hope Maybe I, I put out a ride is special. Like I put out a special and dudes like get their ARs and go to the state capital and like <laughs> like just complete don't tread on me riot. Dude, I would love to take see to the streets. They take to the streets. Shane, I would love to I see a bunch it. of I would love to see a bunch of misspelled signs angry. Yeah. <laughs> government is gay. The government uh, is so gay. Uh, <laughs> no, the, the you know what else sucks when people do in comedy like that guy just did he's like mid during his accent he's like i guess this is what i think these people talk like <laughs> like you did the accent yeah you know what i mean like he just started talking and then he was like i'd switch it into like a german thing i go oh, i'm silly it's like you did it on purpose you yeah, goddamn it's... jag off <laughs> <laughs> also, i'm only gonna it always annoys I'm me only, when uh, it... all right go ahead no what are you gonna say Shane? no no, no go ahead Shane. No, it doesn't matter i'll fucking kill myself jesus jeez don't jeez oh man no, go ahead, finish. Dude, improv oh, stirs me up too, dude. I get it. I get yeah. stirred up by it. <laughs> you know, so I kinda, I this is I called improv. Truck an hour ago. <laughs> you got hit by a truck, and also it's funny. Uh, it's great to make suicide threats as a way to talk on Zoom meetings. Where you're like, "Yeah, well, I'll fucking kill myself." All right, go ahead. Okay, so I think for the third quarter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's. The let's blood's on change. your hand. Pitch his team building idea. Yeah, <laughs> I want to get back to this. What's the Netflix yeah, to special JR. called? Because I want to look up. I want to look up and see who's saying it's great. It's called Middle Ditch and Swartz. Well, no, first watch the trailer, Dan. Please. Okay, hold Pay on. Pay attention to the trailer. Middle Ditch and Schwartz. Okay, I found it. I found the hashtag. Now I got. I got people in the crosshairs. Let's go. Four. Everything will be made up on the spot. Every character, every sentence, everything in the universe, we don't know what will happen. We're going to ask the audience a question, a prompt, if you will, and that will be the inspiration for our show. Oh, no, I hit your microphone a little bit. Oh, no, I hit your microphone a lot of it. Are you best man? Uh, I don't know that we are. You're my best man, and you do me favor. Yeah, I'm your best man. Yes. It's my first semester of law school. Oh, legally binding. <laughs> I'm going to get an email of when the job Dude, pause is. Pause it. Is. You're a good Dude, what the <laughs> fuck is happening, man? It is. It's butter nonsense. We're all upset here. <laughs> Do you uh, hear how the laughter is not growing? Do you see what I mean? Yeah. It's just shit. Stringly ding do. <laughs> waka, waka, waka wheels. <laughs> Literally, like, being edgy and being racist is lazy comedy. We, what we do is smart. And it's literally on stage, like, just being a complete pussy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah the, we don't know what could happen here. It's like, are you giving a TED Talk? What are you doing? Yeah. There's not even an aggressive shot at anything, like balls at all like, like gut punch like gut punch if you're not doing comedy that's going for gut punch unless you're doing like you know a, a fucking a rom-com movie or something like that if you're going for like stage laughs you're going for like gut punch here's yeah. what this is like no, this is ridiculous what, yeah this is what annoys me i was just, this is what i was going to say before chain you threatened to kill yourself the uh, i i get annoyed when a werner herzog reference gets that much of a laugh because, yeah, I didn't get it. Everybody I'm the in man who doesn't club, get it, <laughs> regardless of if you know who Werner Herzog is or not, everybody in that fucking room does not know what he sounds like, and 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 everybody laugh. That many people laughing together at that reference is always to me a mark of oh. uh, we think that we're smart and oh. we're we're a bunch of intellectuals. I've seen it happen at comedy shows, and it's a, it's it's almost like one of those alty hack references to go to. Is is Werner Herzog to to try? It's such fucking masturbatory horseshit. It even the way you said it, Ver, even the way you said Werner made me want to punch you, dude. Hey, listen, I'm gonna. I thought his name was Warner. <laughs> Werner Werner Herzog. Werner Stefan I don't like when people. I don't like when people talk about you know Werner Herzog and they don't know who he is. It bothers yeah. me sometimes. Well, Werner Herzog is is an important figure, but it's a weird reference to make because. Whenever I have a meal and, I, and it's a good Italian dish with some mozzarella, you're like, shut up. Christine, oh, just like to infuriate can't... the group, can you please show the link that I just sent you? Can you, oh, can we? We're not going to finish the trailer? Oh, no, we're going to okay. finish the trailer. We're going to finish the trailer. But, but first. Look at this, but look at this real quick. Okay. Now. And and throw the video. And we got a video. Optimization yeah, throw, to text. Throw the video. Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hundred percent on dude. Rotten Tomatoes. Shut up, dude. Shut up, dude. 
<laughs> please well, dude, go down. But hold on, go down to the critics' ratings and see how many of those ratings are tough. Well, then you know what, world? This isn't the comedy you need, but it's the comedy you deserve. I guess. Okay. So, you top deserve. critics is three. So that means three renowned critics. Little Dr. Schwartz is a perfect storm of eccentric audience members, well Tom improv, and charm that instantly draws viewers in and makes them really feel like they're part of something. How about this, where it's, uh, it's, it's watching two friends crack each other up, find a narrative together, and show off their shared knack for characters, voices, and comedy. Oh, this is... <laughs> I bet it's only cracking each other up. How about on, this? this? How about this? Steve Green says, most comedy specials arrive fully formed. As if that's a bad thing. Middle Ditch and Swartz gives you the joy of working things out together. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not getting paid 500 grand from Netflix like they are. Work it out for me. <laughs> I, this one's great. Martin Nielsen writes, if you want to watch two dudes suck each other's dicks in the gayest way possible, <laughs> this is the oh, way. No, that's just how I feel about Dan, it. Dan, that's not what it says. That's not, that's not real. Okay, this guy on. from Sin Express hasn't laughed this hard in a long time. Uh, let's play the rest of the trailer so we can well, punch look at him. <laughs> look at that guy. Uh, look at that guy. That said yeah. that. An ex, look at an that ex guy. Of mine, uh, an ex of mine actually went to this. I, I heard her talking about how funny it was, and I knew it had to suck. Wait, what? Which X, Shane? The last one or the one before? One before. Really? She's a, yeah, she's just a little a, a young sweetheart, and she was uh, like, "We saw it, and it ruled." Oh no! Fuck what me, running. So I think I think her and her new boyfriend like read the Bible together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That this makes sense. That's like it's like right up their alley. This is like, whoa, this saying. is fucking wild. These, these are the people that still think they're like. I don't know if you've seen Eliza's new special, but it's a fucking four scene fastball. Hold on. Just hold on. Most people that watch this, the adjective that they are more excited about is that it's clean, I bet. You know what I mean? Yeah. People that love it. They're, they're first thing foremost is that they wouldn't say that. They'd say it was hilarious, but what they, they mean is like they even gave it a chance because it was clean. You know what I mean? These a are lot the of people, people, that, these people do want to go watch things like super safe for that reason. They go, like, I want to watch. This a cl- some a clean comedy show. I recommend this. Has anybody watched oh, it yet? No. How could I, right. dude? What if it's funny? There's Shut not up. a chance in the world. Shut up. That's that car accident talking right <laughs> no, now. It's- <laughs> not entertainment for stand-up comics. Like I get that there are oh, people. Sure. Yes, right. It's one of those things where I'm like, look, if if any sort of art's making people laugh out there, great. But this Listen, is not art that's going to no, no, make you guys I, laugh I, I, for sure. But I don't also understand why you put it out as a special because you're not going to get the feel whatever the feeling is let's, let's agree the feeling about improv it has to be like you were there for this thing being created watching that one day this was and stuff that was created seems like it's it's the laughter the genuine gut laughter at home has to be less than the audience giving gut laughter i you're watching I, it like it's like it's like watered down by the time it gets to you and they're like this is the best shit they extracted from multiple hours of of improv this, this is my theory on this this is exactly what the in heavy quotes alternative scene became in new york city the worst side of the alternative scene this is this is exactly like voting they think this is people that think every club comedian is on stage being like, and the fucking blacks, right? And then the Chinese guy is like, doo, 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 doo. and that's the fucking me, hood. Dude, that's only me. I know. It's only Jay. Is what is. But my point is, my point is, is that they, yeah, they go, that's every club comic. Over here are two straight white men who are not threatening at all. Isn't this nice? Isn't this the way men should be? passive and weak and unthreatening and And like mom jeans yeah Yeah. and it's like you don't have to like that because you hate the other thing (laughs) you know what i mean like there's a medium joe i just sent christine the perfect example of the kind of white dude that likes this i I looked it up on twitter and i found this guy laughing at it it's a tweet from his wife and she's like okay so i think my husband loves this middle touch should we, should we watch that now, or do you want to finish the to trailer? Show, to show the laughing, because this is—it's we're, we're talking about people laughing at this, and it's like this guy. It's like, come on, dude. There's no way you find this funny. Watch this play it with volume. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shut up, dude. Is this real? <laughs> just play out. <laughs> Dude, there's not a chance. And this is supposedly to the thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> a fucking turd. Did you hurt yourself? Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's paused. Really? Dude, what? Pause it. He had to pause it to fucking continue. He didn't want to miss a, a moment of it. Dude. That's a guy hoping Middle Ditch and Swartz sees that video. <laughs> uh, what a f for sure. I mean, that, somebody should fucking Photoshop that so nine eleven's on the screen. It's it's between planes. It's not even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultimate fucking uh, meme, dude. If you could get that to go, you know, you just plug in things. Like the yeah, meme you just plug in, you know, plug in. That'd be a fuck. That'd be an unbelievable meme. That guy landing there and they're just yeah. swinging over and just whatever is on the TV. It could be it's the Daniel. <laughs> it's the it's the Daniel Pearl video of him getting decapitated <laughs> by ISIS. <Yeah>. Dan, <laughs> holy Dan, shit! Per your idea, Dan, when the camera swings to the TV, you have to see the second plane hitting. So the yeah. idea is that he was laughing that hard at the first plane hitting. <laughs> 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 Well, dude, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> fucking the rape scene and boys don't cry. <laughs> Something fucking just terrible shit. Oh, dude. The it's, accused. It's, yeah. It's just, it's just showing hard things to watch. Like, like the, uh, Finding Neverland. Yeah, dude. It's, what if it's the band from TV where the lady runs in front of the train? <laughs> it's like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. The Rodney oh King beating. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney King might be the best. <laughs> someone Photoshop that. Oh, dude, please, someone Photoshop that. <laughs> That's so goddamn funny. I don't even know if Photoshop's the right word. Could you guys want to take the <laughs> final break and we'll come back with the rest of the trailer? Oh, let's, oh take yeah. a, let's take a break. We're going to be right back hanging out with Shane Gillis. It's the quarantine tapes on the bonfire. Improv audiences are so full of shit, man. They're Jeez, all why do you wait to say great so lines it. like that? They're all full of shit. They're Shut up. Stop thinking. talking. Why are you? We'll come, come back. Come, come right back. Come right back. Jesus Turn and Christ, burn. Jacob. Turn and burn. Let's go your to five. Favorite thing, your favorite your producer, Jacob. Fair listen. I would get, I get I, angry at at improv well, level. Jacob, I'm getting angry at you right now for talking <laughs> out of turn. Wait. Wait. I can store my anger. That's all right, Joe. We're back, everybody. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soder, Quarantine Third Month, Joe DeRosa, all the way in Pennsylvania. Shane Gill is joining the show. The Young Bull is here. <clears throat> we are uh, in the midst of just, I mean, something that, man, it, man, it stoked me up good. Ooh, it stoked me up good when I watched it. I don't know why. <laughs> it just really, like, I watched it, I was like, what? I'm always blown away. Dude, trailers are a big thing in comedy to me, I think. And I don't like many of them. So I, in fairness to them, I'll say that. But, I mean, I'm always blown away by, like, this is the stuff you picked for explaining this. You know what I mean? Like, showing, like, these fucking moments. Like, these are, like... <laughs> I tell you, can I tell you what I'm really? I tell you what I'm really happy about. Suits, blah blah blah. <laughs> he goes, oh no, this bus is full of water. One of the best feelings of this is uh, finding all the tweets of people that love it, and then clicking on their profiles and making sure they don't follow me, and it feels good. Yeah. Well, here's the thing: the only people this is improv is fake. It's a fake thing. It's like bodybuilding. The only people in that audience laughing right now are other improvers that could <laughs> do it. That are going. <laughs> Hold on. Calling improv bodybuilding might be my favorite thing you've ever seen. <laughs> 
But you know what I mean? Like bodybuilding audiences are all other bodybuilders being like sure. that. You have no idea how hard it is to sculpt <laughs> the, the glute like that. The improv <laughs> audiences are all improv people that couldn't do it that are sitting there being like, you have no idea how hard it is to come up with a German uh, cake shop owner routine on the spot <laughs> like that. That's the only people that give a shit. My ex, no my ex asking girl. for it. Who's asking for this version of comedy? That's what Rosa. I'm saying. <laughs> my ex-girlfriend who moved to L.A., uh, who we've told about stories on, who's smoking hot, but just like an actress and like really acted like an actress. She joined Groundlings in L.A. And you can just like, it's like one of those things where you could just pay your way to keep doing it. You know what I mean? But then she like, dude, the last thing she texted me and uh, we don't talk. We don't ever talk. But sometimes like, Dad, I have to go. Me and my, me and my class are going to walk around and act like cats. Dude, I, Jay, I swear to God, Jay, I swear to God, I was with Katie and I got a text and I told her, I was like, oh, my ex is texting me and I showed her what she texted because she was like, it was like the week my HBO special was coming out. And she's like, I had a vision about your uncle. And I was like, what? And she's like, I had a vision about your uncle. And I'm like, well, I don't talk to that guy. So I don't care. I just shut it down immediately. I was like, he's a piece of shit. I don't talk to him. And she's right. like. Okay, well, I thought I'd let you know. And also, like, this week I have my Groundling show on Sunday, and it's just, like, so – I'm so stressed out. And I was like, bitch, I have an HBO hour special coming out on Saturday. What are you talking about, you narcissist? But you could prepare for that. Like, you can't prepare for the prov, you know? It's like you have to go yeah. just I mean, when I'm empty and open. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, when I'm zip-zap-zopping, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, it's like, what are you stressed out about? Hey, whatever goes down, goes down, lady. <laughs> just yeah. go that it stand. doesn't even have to go. It's going to go. As long as you say words, it appears any idiot who sits in that audience will laugh at it. Dude, it's just words. Stand-ups watching, stand watching improv really is like hockey players watching uh, figure skating. But how, how is how is how is okay? How is what you how is what your fucking deal not like considered improv? I mean, if that, that's I would call that improv. Well, it is kind of, and that's what I'm saying. I'm like, we did two seasons of this show. You have an audience mic. Everything's off the cuff, and everybody's coming up with, and you know, in the show and putting the show onto television. There was that concern of like, are people outside of this room going to feel the same thing as? Yes, people? because we're saying room. hilarious shit. Everyone yeah, was saying whole, hilarious shit. And my whole was point was just that dumb head. idiots can continue to do it. That was the whole point of my ex girlfriend story. Is that like she has no, she doesn't want to do comedy. She's just it, doing it because it's it, something it, to do. Some improv. are saying she's the next diddle ditch. <laughs> yeah. Improv is a fucking, it's a pyramid scheme. Like you said, yeah. you buy in and you keep paying in to keep going. For Christ's sakes, look, I've performed many times at UCB. I've met some of the UCB people. They're nice people. But look at that facility on Sunset Ave in L.A. It looks like a fucking Scientology center. Do you I know anybody say, that has become a professional improver <laughs> in history? <laughs> this is the that. first professional improv thing I've ever seen happen. I would say, <laughs> I would say improv is the Scientology of comedy. You can just keep paying to get to these yeah. weird different levels to be like the first step into sketch like Yo, wait, wait, wait. To be like a muscle building tool to wait. be able to write sketch with other people damn damn i think it's a great cre sorry go what, ahead. Did, what did you say there's levels there's levels yeah dude yes oh yeah like, there's rankings no oh, dude you go like you do like ucb was like a rank up yeah, you can like pay, you have to pay like six hundred bucks to do the first round of classes, and then you do another like two oh one where you're like, oh, now I know how to act like a true dude for real. Yeah, dude, you get to teach. You keep paying until you get to be the teacher to take other people's money. Christine, bring up an improv troupe doing animals, <laughs> and then, uh, please. And then also, uh, we have to finish watching this trailer, dude. I feel like we're gonna start a back it up a little bit. Can Even. we start? Can we start the bonfire school of improv and people just pay money and we just sit in a room together? It's so, oh it's so it's, fucking dumb. It's and then they boiler leave. room, dude. It's improv is boiler room, dude. One of the <laughs> one that really is it's just phones on the ground and people missing money. They, I remember one of the most aggravated I would get was when I waited tables at Dos Caminos and I would like, you know, be going and doing these soul jewel gigs on the weekends or just fucking eating it on the road is like a as a feature and i'd come back and these fucking waiters that i'd be waiting tables with they'd be like yeah stand-up seems pretty hard i'm taking a class at ucb and i'm getting into it and i just like love it and it made me want to just fucking power bomb them through a table every time and, yeah. and by the way by the way 
oh, we did a thing the crowd suggested and they loved it. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Get up at a Soul Joe gig, like you just said, and do shit the crowd doesn't want to hear and make it work. Do you know how fucking hard that is? It's always yeah. so like, it's always like that, too. Like, like that's, uh, sir, that fat lady you're talking to is my wife. I didn't know this car could float. We're not in a car. We're in a boat. <laughs> Most improv is just stroke talking when people are falling into strokes. You know, they're not making sense. We've watched. We watched that. The, we watched that Ted uh, two scene a bunch of times. Ted breaking out. Everything smells like baked steaks. <laughs> I was really shitting on improv in a fun way. I was really going off it. on improv. I heard it. The, uh, um, thank you. The thing Evan said, though, about, like, isn't this just a stepping stone for some other kind of... Con yes, Evans, that's why the most famous improvers of all time are Second City. They all became Saturday Night Live and SCTV, and the first thing the network said to both of them were, write something down. <laughs> the thing that got them there, they were like, that's, I mean, no, 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 you're not doing lines. any of that. <laughs> write it all down now. The tenderloins were an improv troupe, and that developed into Impractical Jokers. Like, it always felt to me like improv is supposed to be, like, Wait, the Tenderloins did improv? Oh, they're an improv troupe. That's like what they were for 20 years. And it's something <laughs> where I'm like... <laughs> God damn, that's got to... I think, Sal, you were away. It's supposed to be like a stepping stone into... I feel like it's supposed to be like workshop in the same way actors do scene study. Now, for comics, you guys don't have anything to... It's all just open mics and it's all just self-sustained. But I totally understand like the exercises and stuff to grow into like comedic timing with other people. Christine, shut the fuck up. That's insane what you're saying. <laughs> you stand-ups are so snide. <laughs> no, listen, I'll tell you, I think Sal, when we were away, said to me, he was like, he's like, bad improv is the worst, but that's usually what you see, and really great improv is great, and, and maybe, but I, I don't know. I, I have not given much of it a chance because the even the slightest bit of it I've ever seen has made me want to headbutt a fucking nail. I mean, <laughs> just <laughs> Let's watch the rest of this trailer. <laughs> back, back this up back it up a little bit i want to get oh i want to get raged up i'm gonna close line christine right out of her chair illegally binding <laughs> i'm gonna get an email of when the job interview is you're a gazelle you're a gazelle and you want this job don't you gazelle are you hungry you little gazelle show me what you eat i don't want i don't want show do me this. what you eat pause hey! pause please Hell yeah. By the way, not only are they doing it shittily, he says in the middle of it, I don't want to do this. They're just bailing on the shitty thing. They're not even committing to it. It's a special. Uh, but you don't know, understand him bailing is the funniest part. That's, yeah, it. that's, the, that's the bit, that's the, dude. That's, that's the breaking down the wall. That's, that's the cracking. Yeah, that's the thing that goes like, come on, because I promise you, he goes, I don't want... Oh, I'm going to do it now. All right. He got my arm twisted. I'm going to do it. Guys, I'm going to eat 70 milligrams of edibles and watch all three hours tonight. <laughs> you know what, Dan? I got a bottle of tequila on my shelf. I might match you with that. Well, guess what? I'll we'll see you on the other side. How Please. sad would you be if you just started giggling? Like it just caught you and Funny. you're like, oh, man, these Christine? guys are really funny. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what would make me laugh? What is your deal the... with these guys? What, the... <laughs> <laughs> what do you she mean? Ne never forget. Evan's got her start in comedy at a club where magicians perform. <laughs> sure. Every night. <laughs> She's <Sure>. tainted. <laughs> trying to put him over like she has money involved in the, pro yeah. in the project. <laughs> and she's like. You might be surprised when you you're gonna be surprised and upset when you find yourself enjoying it. Goes, I think you I think, think it's I'm gonna go one way. About I think I'm the most angry about Middle Ditch's fucking pants. I don't know why <laughs> they just really bring really it back. bother me. Bring it back. Let's it's see like, it, Christine. Guys, if, we're cool do, if we're doing this, if we're all diving in and doing this tonight, I'll fucking watch the goddamn shit. But we are gonna come in <laughs> tomorrow, hot dude. <laughs> we're gonna come in tomorrow, hot. <laughs> Go back oh, to dude. the gazelle. Go back to the beginning of the gazelle, getting a job. Stylish. Right, listen, I understand these guys are talented actors, but they both remind me of, like, guys you work with that tell you to do the paperwork. They're like, you yes. didn't do your paperwork. And you're like, but, right. By the way, by the way, absolutely, Dan, you're right. Just act. You don't have to do both things. 
Yeah, they're it's passive true, they're, straight yeah, they're white men. They're passive straight white men. They're office guys. They're the they're the they're they're the bosses in office yeah. space. You know what they are? They're uh, yeah. I call those uh, when you get to do. You know when you feed the animals like the uh, that part of the zoo where they put you in with those animals. <laughs> the petting part. Yeah, the, the petting, petting zoo. zoo. Yeah, the petting zoo. <laughs> God yeah. damn, Dan, you got to cut back on that reefer, son. No, I know. <laughs> what are you going to do with the animals you can touch? Dude, that's happened to me. And I don't know. You rub, you rub your hand. You rub your, your hand across their fur. <laughs> they let you fuck the animals. So, <laughs> but that's not the petting zoo. I go, you know, you meet Rodrigo back by the cleaning cages. He lets you go in and familiar, <laughs> familiarize yourself. <laughs> you slip him a Jackson. You're back there. You got some pellets in your pants. They don't know why they're attracted to you. <laughs> Grab onto those horns and you fuck a goat. Yeah, that's called a petting zoo, right? Yeah. What you do is you get big, big boots. You get long water, like rain boots, so you can put the back hooves in the front of your boots. Yeah. <laughs> that way they don't hurt. Man, dude. Also, yeah. I would say you got to wear shorts. Sure, it sounds irresponsible, but you'll get why. Because you got to go out the leg of the short. You don't want to pull your pants down. Yeah. Let's take it caught. I'm safe. You gotta come out the side of a short short. <laughs> you gotta come out the side of a short short. Get your get it in. <laughs> Let's finish this trailer, and I'll try to think of words. Gazelle, are you hungry, you little gazelle? Show me what you eat. I don't want. I don't want. Show do me this. what you eat. Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. <laughs> and that improv. is improv. Those pants. Those pants. Those pants. Those pants are aggravating. Fuck I get seconds it. and hit pause. Dude, that is... That just looks like a, like a real tough watch. <sighs> yeah. It really just... By the way, like, Mr. Mr. Fucking Nice Guy Middle Ditch over here on the left is the guy that did the interview in Playboy like six months yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> Where he was basically like, I, as soon as I got married, I convinced my wife I needed to fuck other women. You know, yeah. and she wasn't really, oh, really? Early, but I talked her down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, like, yeah. She, wasn't, she wasn't into it, right? Well, that yeah, got she rolled. was kind Middle of just like, rules, uh, okay. Yeah, you just, Middle Ditch rules. You just flipped uh, Shane on Middle Ditch. Actually, yeah, I might have flipped myself, putting, Shane. If he's putting his fucking <laughs> sniz, if he's, you know, putting sniz in order, like if he's, like, locking it down and, and be like, I got to go work, and then going on stage and be like, boop, 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 boop. By the way, <laughs> by the way, his <laughs> wife. So finally, Shane, where he's his doing wife, where he's, he's getting double blowjobs, and he's going, give her some, give her some. And then he goes out, and he's like, well, this whole ice cream shop hasn't been open in wheat. <laughs> <laughs> he's a... Uh, by the way, he, she's not concerned. He's like, he's just getting, he's getting improv groupy pussy. Yeah. Who gives a shit? I didn't realize he was on Silicon oh, Valley. I was like, where did these guys come from that Netflix yeah. would just give them a special? And I'm like, oh, they're already famous. That's like what they do. Yeah. This guy's, this guy's side, specials. this guy's side pussy is wearing elf ears as we speak. Oh, dude. I know. If, if you don't think. It's like a UCB god. I am a they, god. A UCB I do not understand god. it. Like, nobody. It's unbearable for me to watch. I think they're all faking it in improv audiences. I think it's oh. a great tool. It's a yeah. great tool, and they're great actors. But, man, you should perfect that tool in, in privacy. I don't we've, know how we've played it in audiences. We've played it so many times in the show, the, uh, the Ted 2 scene, dude, with the improv, when they yell out the shit is <laughs> so goddamn funny. You would give, be, us, uh, give us a he goes, give us a location like the offices of Charlie Hebdo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> give me a, give me a, uh, an event nine eleven. <laughs> you have it a person Bill Cosby. <laughs> Here's an article where he talks about his wife. Uh, without getting mad at me after I was getting married, like I was like, oh, read, Here, it. read it, read it, like. Yeah, I, I can't because of the... Here, I'll do it. You and one of the Godzilla writers visited a swingers club. Wait, he wrote Godzilla? He wrote Godzilla? I think he wrote... It says you and one dude. of the Godzilla... Oh. Maybe not. You and one of the Godzilla writers visited a swingers club with your partners during production. Are you and Molly, your wife of four he was years... In the movie. He was in the movie, I guess. Familiar yeah, with the true. swinging scene? Middle Ditch said, I don't know how much I can say because I don't want my wife to be mad at me. Only after I got married, I was like, Molly, I'm sorry, but we have to get non-traditional here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what a funny way to say that to your wife. I don't want to get weird with you, but we're going to have to get non-traditional. Yeah, you get caught cheating and just be like, baby. <laughs> 
We got to be non-traditional. It's a little non-traditional. To and her by the way, that's exactly like something the way I would say. That's, yeah. a, that's I was going to say. You don't have exactly to be non-traditional. <laughs> that's exactly the way a dude like that would say it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like packaging it like it's something that it's not. You know what I mean? Her, like, like I'm not it's her to be benefit. Offensive. Yeah. So, hey, let me finish the quote. I just read it. Seems like a pretty reasonable answer, actually. <laughs> really? He goes, to her credit, yeah. instead of saying, fuck you, I'm out, she was like, let's figure it out. Let's figure this out. To be honest, swinging has saved our marriage. We have different speeds, and we argue over it constantly, but it's better than feeling unheard and alone and that you have to scurry in the shadows. By the way, it's now called being part of the lifestyle. The term swinging is old. Fuck him for that. I'll exactly. tell you what. I'll tell you <laughs> what. I don't have a problem with anything of that answer whatsoever. So it just means everything outside of his bedroom is the problem I have. <laughs> well, look at the way you said that. Swinging is an old term. It's like, shut up. Yeah, but yeah. he's a fucking, like, he's like, the, all those improv people are like ultimate fucking woke fucking, like, feminist shit. So, like, him saying this is just such a, just such a cop-out way of being like, yo, I, I'm rich now and I'm going to cheat on you. So fucking deal with it. That's what he said to her. Well, it's exactly. also, it's like improv exactly. men are like narcissists, just like the rest of performers. And there was a whole thing at UCB, I forget the guy's name, where he was like taking advantage of girls. And there's just this hierarchy in there of like still being able to get pussy because you're the king of your group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, it's like, even if you're king of the improvers, it's like, okay, well, the girls are going to flock. Yeah, dorks. Yeah. Fucking straight dorks. Now. Christine, do you have improvers doing uh, uh, animals, please? I'll please. find it. <laughs> please, if we could uh, get a little bit uh, on the uh, video. <laughs> can you throw that up, please? <laughs> I mean, this there's is one, great. There's one improv video of a dude spazzing because somebody makes an improv or a 9-11 joke. Really? A classic oh, video. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. Animal noises. Find in that. That one is the guy fucking losing his shit. I've, also, the thought of the uh, of that clip that we played with that guy laughing to that special <laughs> to nine eleven or Rodney King beating. Yeah. Please, he's keep watching. Needs to he's, be watching the, uh, he's watching. Don't fuck with cats. Where they yeah. the cat scene. Yeah, it's so funny. He's just yeah. He's he's watching the Pippa No video. He's like, yeah. I mean, that is funny though. He needs to be watching like a uh, like a, a mass burial. Yeah, 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 yeah. World War Two. Yeah, yeah, when they're fucking, they're dump trucking bodies into a yeah. hole. Yeah, he goes. He's, they found a mass grave in Da Nang. He's like, ah. by the way, you could tell by looking at that guy and what he's actually laughing at that he will be offended by the <clears throat> most benign of these jokes. By oh, the way. for sure. Yeah, yeah. But if man, if they put it to Twelve Years a Slave and him laughing like that, <laughs> like, he's a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, fucking the, the Kunta Kinte scene of Roots. Like, oh yeah. God, Passion of the Christ. Like fire hose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or he's, watching, he, he's watching the curb stomp in American History X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> I found him. Oh, Jay Ryan. Yeah. What you found? What? And is improv actors taking acting like animals very seriously? And now, okay. Uh, yeah, but also perfect. the but also, uh, are you the nine eleven one? Nine eleven, where they wig out about nine eleven joke? Yeah. Yeah. Please, in the interim, like you can put the other thing. Yeah, I'd like to see those people being animals. That'd be fun. Let's see what that looks like. In search, so I can pull up the other video and yeah, pull up the animals video search. first. Let's just get a, let's just get something to wet our beak. Yeah, get a, let's tickle our tits a little bit. It would be great if the only thing allowed back was improv. <laughs> like stand up doesn't come back, but just improv. Oh no! What the these act- Oh yeah, these are actors. These aren't. Animal oh no! Study improvisation. The first stage of the improvisation process involves an animal in real time. Yeah, this is more so of an act. Is living- this isn't a thing people are trying to be funny. Including living <laughs> backbone, breath rhythm, so this is transitions. People, this is people that become dumb actors and shit nobody wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's those- exactly was Jake. That video was exactly Jacob's point, which is like that's where you do shit like that yeah. in a dark room when you're practicing and honing your yeah. skill. You, you, know, you want to know something funny? Yeah. They uh, improv improv kids really fucking hate me. That's great. Uh, I'll look at tw- Twitter and shit. It's always improv people being like, remember Shane Gillis? What a loot. Because they all want SNL. Yeah, because like, you got I the got thing. There, the one thing they're all working for. Yeah, you so got the thing. Like, That's their only he answer. Sucked. He probably he probably didn't have any good characters. <laughs> like he all didn't the even, he I, bet he didn't even, I bet he didn't even complete the third tier of UCB. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I did it without their fucking classes. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, you didn't pay nine thousand dollars to get into SNL. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. It just cost you. It just cost you a bunch of logs of dip and some fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Second City like a disaster, like UCB, or is a a little bit more, you know? Like not like don't you have to audition into Second City? Like yeah. it's not just anybody think, can sign up and I pay think, a rate. Can, I think Second you City definitely is take like the most prestigious of them. I think right. Yeah, Chicago. They had that's General Chicago breeding ground, and I think that's where Groundlings was originally. Was Chicago? Now they have L.A. How many gang kids they kept off the streets south side Chicago with improv? Shane, let me know if this is the video you're talking about. Discrimination by 9-11 joke at an audition? It has to be. Please. I asked. Yeah, yeah. This is okay, it. okay. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Let's let fucking go. Oh, yeah. I think the victim posted the video. This is footage my friend took of an improv comedy audition uh -huh. we were invited to. I was asked to come on stage, and the following events happened. Outside of getting beat or raped, I don't really know what the problem is. I'm posting this to show think, that discrimination is wrong. I think somebody actually made a funny joke, and they all... As. And that joking about 9-11 is crossing the line and it should not be done. It's like, oh, these people, it's like, just stop <laughs> trying to do comedy. Ah, uh, dude, no, let's let it rip. Christine. Fuck both of these people already. It looks like the, I'm not going to say his name. The only problem is, is that Carlton was not, in fact, at your high school. But you don't know that. Okay. You, don't know. Oh, so well, you, don't, you don't necessarily, you don't remember that. You don't remember him because he didn't go to your high school, but he's crashing the party. You're crashing your It's a high school reunion. You know, he's crashing how the fucking much you explanation of this setup do you need, you fucking idiots? I, I got it. it. By the way, does it seem combative? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, you're, no, it's a graduate. It's, no. It's, we're coming into a thing and you're there. What are you doing? I've seen, I've seen less, uh, terse tones in POV porn. Yeah, <laughs> he's the guy with the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy wearing the Jay Gomez's. Yeah. The okay. LJ, the, and he, the and LJGs. He, and he was brought out of the audience. The, everybody else is a troop. He's got the ankle socks and the cargo shorts slightly above the knees. This kid yeah. is a problem. Yes, guy. <laughs> also, Shane, <laughs> while he, he might be a problem to have fun with, he's going <laughs> to... He's gonna pull you through in the woods. That guy knows. That's guy. That's a survivalist. Yeah. I just believe that all men like this are like Jamie Kilstein. I know Kilstein's a friend, and you know we've had him on the shows, and he's kind of he's a full, he's a full actual plopper. like one eighty. Yeah. But it just seems like all of this is some sort of way to try to get pussy. Like just I don't guys, believe anybody's genuine. Just for guys who wear Asics gel still. Yeah, dude. I'd like to fuck that girl in the yeah. middle. I'll do. I'll I'll dance around with these two boys to try to. Yeah, yeah you would act, he'd off? say things he doesn't believe in to try to fuck her. That makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> and Jay, I'm going to guess from her hanging with improv nerds, full bush. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt, dude. Without All a right, doubt. Let's play this clip. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Yes, hold on. I just uh, honestly oh, right I, out of it. I, I, dude, <laughs> hold on. Hold on, dude. I got so excited when he said 911 beard and that's the joke he gets mad about and then you just hear the guy go. So the joke on. was made the joke was made about him. 11? The joke was made about him saying he has a 911 beard. I guess like an yeah. Arab beard. Yeah, a black dude, a black dude said he had 911 beard. And then he's gonna get up <laughs> from this. Is this what's happening? Am I following right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy goes. The guy immediately goes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nine Eleven beer. Okay, okay. He up, breaks it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a white guy. It's not even like a Muslim guy getting legitimately offended. <sighs> just, it seems like see. it's just a white dude. Well, let's see. Well, a white dude for sure. He can be a victim. He's fucking stoked. If you become a victim, that that ups you a level in every improv school. Yeah, dude. That's how you graduate. <laughs> you level up. Dude, yeah. it is that's so one level up. You save a lot of money. <laughs> he breaks this so like this is so the wrong turn to do in an improv thing. <laughs> way he breaks this, it would literally be if you went at McDonald's and they were like, "Work the grill," and you put beef on it, and then just turn the grill off immediately. <laughs> that's how much of a left turn out of what you're supposed to do. This guy is doing here. It's so funny because it's such the I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, yeah. I need uh, an yeah, adult. Yeah, I need an adult. Yeah, crazy life, and you know. Uh, I'm 
Associate me with a terrorist. Uh, is that what you're going to do? Do the joke. You're going to associate me with a terrorist. It's a joke. It's the joke. That's so not cool. That's not funny. Yeah, that's... That's fucking bullshit, dude. What the fuck? Oh. I know people who fucking died of that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, 18 other guys. <laughs> She's trying to keep the improv going. <laughs> now hold, hold on. Was that was that the guy's way? Was that? Are we sure that's not part of the improv? He's well, we're about to like, find out. Uh, looks like he's still going out. outside. He's in the hallway, freaking out. Yeah, he's not oh, nice. performing. Okay. I know people that died in that shit. They the can't do try, this. I love that the chick is trying to keep it going. Yeah, that's she goes, okay. oh, wow. I know people who <laughs> fucking died in that shit is one of my favorite things. We have to have that as a drop. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think they said they're going to be landing and do some more. Do we do some more jokes after that shit? Oh, he might be not white. Hang on a second. Pause what it. He's he white. Really Pause it. Pause it. Do these kids, I think they're going to be landing soon. Do they call <laughs> the end of improv landing? <laughs> No, taking really? off on the spaceship, please. He goes. He goes. Guys, listen, there's that. I think we're gonna be landing minutes. soon. Guys, we have five minutes. I need you to get on the side of the stage. We're clear for takeoff. <laughs> Dude, Not is it called landing? Part. Is the ending of improv called landing? <laughs> that is bad as calling. Give me one last accent and one last job. That is dumber than when people on cribs say that this is where the magic happens on their bed. I have a yeah. list of imp uh, in improv glossary, and landing is not in here as a term. Well, let's see what this I was going to say for now, though. He goes, goes yeah. hey, uh, I'm waiting for Dan to get off stage. When's he landing? He's, giving the, he's ribbing the guy. He's, he's, he's rubbing the fucking... He's, he's poking the bear, dude. All right, so back he's another airplane seconds. joke. He's, back back up <laughs> he's like, listen, man, the show is about to smack into the building. Why don't you come back? And <laughs> yeah. you know what that's supposed to be. You know I don't think it's an improv term. He goes, dude, I think they're about to... <laughs> Those land. guys, the show is going to a field. That's what I was just going to... Yeah, he goes, I think we're going to land this in a field in Pennsylvania, so... Thanks for really uh, shanksvilling this fucking show. Yeah, listen, man, that inside job in there is about to fall from the base of the building. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, he goes, dude, that's something. Hey, you know, because I'm just like a controlled you know? explosion, controlled yeah. demolition. You know, guys, uh, some of those punchlines are melting the steel beams. <laughs> <laughs> guys, uh, they're, they're box cuttering it up in there, and uh, they're about to be done. <laughs> <laughs> they are in there. I mean, they are in there taking a cartwheel straight into the Pentagon. If yeah. I'm being honest, <laughs> it's all Akbar. That thing's over with. Huh? <laughs> uh, please go back to that. The girls, the guy down the hall, back it up to him starting his thing. Like, is that funny? I no, 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 no. Go from there because we have to. We have to wrap up the show. Okay, all right. All right. They're good. I think they said they're going to be landing. And do some anyway. more. Do we do some more jokes after that shit? That needs to be a hammered. Turn. He's hammered. He, was, he wasn't really trying to hurt feelings, but he was cool. Come on. Oh, is this just an emotional drunk man? I think so. Ugh. He says I don't that, know. He, he, he uploaded that. it. He uploaded it onto YouTube. Well, you want to try and go back in there, fuck up, and see what's going on? As long so, as he knows that it's out of line, I'll go back. I mean, like, he doesn't. He's not in second. Okay. Great. So One of the people apologized to me, which was good. That. What's that? As soon as you walked out, I told him. That was it. Okay. He didn't mean it. You guys are all fucking pussies. This is such a fucking pussy thing to have happen walking out. I don't even die. If you're as emotional as you just pretended to be storming out of that room, you should have hit the guy. My father who was one of the 11 hijackers. <laughs> and he died in 9 11. <laughs> I want to pose a theory here. Wrong side of death. I want to pose a theory here. I think this just could be a new, daring, wild type of improv. <laughs> I think that's still part of the sketch out in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If they bring that kind of realness to it. Yeah. And he goes, and we are the Sniffly Piffs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You very much. That would yeah. be pretty awesome. That would actually be really good. They go, we are the Timothy McVeighs. Thank you very much. <laughs> Federal government's the problem. He goes on stage. He's like, I bet you guys thought I was bad. Fuck the Arabs, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah.
Yeah. You guys, we've been fun. We've been the dancing Kaczynskis. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck all y'all. Get out of here. <laughs> if you thought it was good, leave a buck at the door. Um, Don't use yeah, technology. Please. It's tracking us. Yeah, please go. I get, I'm just thinking of like lines you can't cross. That's all I think. I just have lines that I, you know, whatever. I just get bugged out. Guys, it's, it's okay. We're actually done for the night right now. Uh, thanks for being a part of this. The, the, then the guy in charge should be in a call tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. okay. We honestly had expected more people to show up. We're very thankful that you guys were able to do this. Right? <laughs> no one was there. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly Look, we knew you were going to be a pain in the ass uh, right from the get-go, but, you know, we're trying to get a show going, so here we are. <laughs> we didn't know you guys were uh, such big pusses, but uh, thanks for coming out. There's just more text if you guys okay. He goes, he writes... Um, uh, after about 10 minutes, we were still waiting for a ride to get here. So we went back to the audition room to see if they had all left. Then just two people pull up with a with sitting down, like, uh, like air sitting, holding a fake uh, yeah. a fake steering wheel. And like, oh. Uber rides here. Hey, from out of town traveler. It jumps to, uh, jumps to 20 years later. I still live with my folks. Uh, uh, there's no money in improv. But we have a good time. But this Middle Titchen Swartz special is awesome. They hadn't left. They were still auditioning, and my friend goes and tells me, oh, so you suck, so they lied that they were shutting it. They pretended the show was <laughs> over. <laughs> when, you, when you suck so bad that improv kids are like, let's fucking act like we're done, so you leave. Wait, wait, wait. Was he, was he auditioning? I think he was auditioning Maybe and freaked he was out. Auditioning, yeah. Dude, that is the lamest thing. That's the fucking, that's got to be one of the most nut kick things to find out in your life that they pretend into the show. <laughs> and then when you leave, they go, yeah, hey, let's get this thing going again. Dude, that's it. Yeah, this is, and it was also so uploaded funny. in 2012. It's not even like it was, you know, 2002. Let's see. Well, Evans never forget. <laughs> they had left and they're still auditioning. My friend goes and tells me because your friend People sucks worse than Your me. friend's a fucking dildo as well. Yeah, they're still auditioning. What? Yeah, you're in there wearing Travis Bickle glasses. They needed to yeah. get you the fuck out of there. Well, I, don't know. I mean, he stormed out. Guess they didn't. Why are they at a middle school? These people suck. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, dude, I want to see the wet blanket go back in there and then be like... Dude, why are they at a middle school is a great question, but why are you going to watch a show at a middle school? Oh, please, I went please back in and asked them if they told me they were done just to get rid of me. He's killing his audition, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they denied it, but why else would they be there? This guy just fucking sucks. This guy sucks. This Yeah. Right. This is the type of weasel that turns into a comedy blogger. This is a real fucking, I'm going to go rat on comics kind of energy. Oh, my God. Don't, don't discriminate against it. other people. Don't he, make it. Oh, it's not 9-11. God, he would never say, don't discriminate against a white person. <laughs> I know. We yeah. didn't even get into the oh, no. Metzger Armenian genocide shit yet, which is one of the most ridiculous Dude, things I've ever seen. We would have fucking the Armenian genocide hard. didn't happen. Get over it. Shut up, Shane. Yeah. I'm sure. yeah, we would have rage, raged so hard at the very end of that. He goes, don't, discri you. don't discriminate against white people. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. No one ever says that. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. call at home, his friend must have been like, I, I don't think you should do improv, dude. You, yeah. You're not supposed to explode and walk off the yeah. stage. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm home right now, and I'm throwing away all my Second City TV posters. I'm throwing away all of my books. I'm never going to watch Middle Titch and Swartz, the two people that inspire me the most. I know it's your lifelong dream to do improv, but if your instinct is to explode and storm off stage, I don't think you should do improv. Dude, the, thought, <laughs> the thought of a guy telling him to abandon his dreams while a turn signal is going off, where it's like, uh, maybe you shouldn't do improv. Yeah. It's, uh, it's oh, yes and. Know. It's yes and, not no crying bitch storm out. <laughs> oh, fuck it, funny. <laughs> <laughs> asked Michelle, by the way, to go back to the beginning. I said, "Are you related to George Went?" And she said, "Just my ass." So I guess that's a no. Okay. <laughs> or right. I don't know. <laughs> or her ass is really the George Went. Uh, oh, Shane, dude, so good to hang with you today, buddy. Yeah, bro. I'm excited to see you guys. Hopefully, we can get a house together and yeah, hang dude. out like friends. Yeah. You, you want to go nine hours away always? Well, yeah, that's I'd like cheaper. to go somewhere warm. Be nice right. to go to North Carolina. The whole Outer Banks are still closed down. Though. Okay, yeah. You can go out of the Outer Banks in a couple weeks, maybe. 
Hey, Kiaste, get you in a hot tub. Come on. Weeks, baby. That'd be non traditional. Christine would love a house. With, Christine would love doing a house with Shane because Shane's got that uh, that personality thing that's good, that'll do stuff that I'm so like like I didn't get in the hot tub one time at that place. Oh, so I, just, I gotta get out in the water, dude. I gotta swim. I gotta float. Shane's a water boy. Water boy. <laughs> um, but thank you, dude. Thanks, thanks for doing the show with us today, dude. It's so fun hanging with you. We'll yeah, I, I miss you guys. Thing going. We miss you, yeah, buddy. Uh, on behalf of the bonfire, I guess we'll catch you guys next time. Crackle, crackle. Bye, guys. Bye.